Okay, welcome to lesson two, multi-file websites. Okay, I hope you had fun exploring the examples in lesson one, getting started. Now we're ready to actually do a little coding. So in advanced HTML and CSS. You noticed in the example exercises, the CSS rules were in an external style sheet. So that style sheet was added to the home page, and we're going to learn how to create one in this exercise at a style sheet. So we're going to add a CSS file named style.css to this project to style this page, and we're going to add a rule that makes all of the images 100 pixels by 100 pixels. We're going to give the list items a font size of 24 pixels. Okay, so you've already learned how to create rules. This should be easy. The only thing that's going to be different is putting it in a separate file. Okay, so our final result is going to look like this. Okay, to get started, we, you know, I always like to run the code first to see what I got, and I'll be able to better tell what my code did to this homepage afterwards. Okay, so we can tell here that the images are definitely a lot larger than 100 by 100. So we're going to bring these images down so that they're all the same size, and we're going to expand the file I'm sorry, the font size of these list items. Okay, so notice up at the top in the head of our document, ooh, let me slide this over. Notice up in the head of our document, we have a link tag. This is something that we have not seen yet. All right, so let's talk about what this link tag does. In order to make sure that the rules that we're going to put in this separate external style sheet file actually apply to this home page, we need to link it. Okay, so we do that by using the link tag. The link tag has three attributes that you add to it to give the web browser a little more information on this file that you're linking. Okay, the first attribute is rel or relation. So the rel is going to be set to style sheet. The relation to this home page is that we're linking a style sheet. Okay, the next attribute is the type attribute, and you're going to set the type attribute to text, CSS. Our external style sheet is going to be CSS, and it's a text file, okay, so it, or it's, it's a text document. All right, so text slash CSS. Okay, finally, your href is going to be set, your href attribute is going to be set to the name of the style sheet. So since the exercise asks asked us to create a style sheet called style CSS, we're going to set the href attribute to the name of our style sheet file. This is really important because if you don't use the correct name here in this attribute, the browser doesn't know where to look for the rules, or it does know where to look, but it may not find the right rules, okay? So let's start by first creating a file. So we're going to add that over here on the left. If you don't see this pane, you might just need to expand it. All right, and you're going to hit create a new file. Okay, so we're just going to call this style.css and add it. All right, you'll notice that it's now in your files folder or pane, and you don't need to link it because it's already linked. All right, so over in our style sheet, we're going to now put all of our style rules. Okay, so this part is going to be the same, same as our embedded style sheet that we did in the last unit. Okay, so the first rule is setting all of the images to 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Remember, the first part of your style rule is always the selector. Since I'm selecting all of my IMG tags, my selector is IMG. I'm going to set the width to 100 pixels and the height to 100 pixels. Okay, don't forget that curly brace to close out your rule. And then next, we're going to set the list items to have a font size of 24 pixels. Okay, so that's it as far as this exercise is concerned. But just to make sure, you want to go back and run your code on your home page. All right, so this looks good. You have your list items a little bit larger and now you can see all of your images they're all the same size 100 by 100 okay really nice job on this first exercise add a style sheet if you have any questions leave it down below